We saw what would happen if we just made a list and did not specify a type. Now I want to be super clear. This link list implements list and both of these have a type parameter right here, which I did not use. I'm about to now use it. So notice the constructor does not take a type parameter, which means you have to, if you want to declare a type, you have to specify it when you declare this class. Or I should say when you declare the variable for this class. So right here, I declared a list. And if I go and put string, now I'm saying I'm only going to put strings into this list. And that's important because immediately you see I can't add non-strings to the list. Not only can I not add numbers, I can't add anything that's not a string. So let's just go ahead, take this out. Uh, all the rest of the code is fine. We'll go ahead and run it. And you see it's the same output as before. Uh, but now we can do something very different. Instead of object O, I can declare string O. Um, now, I'm not sure why string can't be, okay, so it's just telling us there's no way a string could be an integer, so we can't even, we're not even allowed to compare them, that's fine. All right, should probably call this string S. Now, if I tried to do this before, let's so leave it O. If I tried to do this before, uh, before I told uh, list to be a list of strings, then I was only allowed to access the elements as objects, not as strings. Now I specified there's strings in here, and now we can operate on strings like we normally would. So when we use the get right here, the get method, if I go over and look at the get method, uh, let's see. Well, I won't scroll all the way down to get, but you see that when I did add, you specify E as a type. And when I run this, E is always going to be a string because I declared it right here to be a string. Now there's other places you could put it and they have slightly different meanings. Uh, you could over type it. Uh, it's not necessary to put this in both sides, but you absolutely can if you want to. Uh, I believe we can remove it from the declaration. Uh, nope, can't remove it from the declaration. We got an error down here. Uh, but you don't, if you have it in the declaration, you don't also need it in the constructor. That's fine. So this lets us operate on it a little bit easier. If we're going to be testing it out, all the same things are inside the list. And so when we get, add, it, do any type of accessing any of the data inside the list, we can do it as a string. We don't have to treat it like an object and then cast later. So this can uh, speed up some of our testing and also uh, it lets this list be built with just strings inside of it.